Welcome to our video series concerned with linguistic data analysis. Here you see one of our students' solution to a phonemic transcription exercise. In fact, it is exercise number one from the VLC transcription series. The task was to transcribe the text that you see here, represented in grey, using the LPD notation, that is the notation in the Longman's Pronouncing Dictionary. The reference variety of English was received pronunciation. The result is pretty good, but it involves some mistakes, which I'm going to point out to you right now. Let us start with the mere symbolic mistakes, that is, with mistakes where a symbol was chosen that is not part of the LPD notation. So, here is one in friends, then we have how, the wrong diphthong. Now this symbol doesn't exist like this in the LP, LPD notation. An A with a colon, an O with a colon doesn't exist. Uh, then we have something over here, bloody. And um, God involves the wrong O symbol. In people we have an interesting case of an allophonic variation, the dark L, which is not part of a phonemic transcription. Eyelid wrong diphthong again, same applies to no, and then we have, last but not least, a wrong symbol down here in all stop. So all these symbols should be replaced by alternatives. For example, the epsilon doesn't exist, it should be replaced by a standard A or E symbol. Diphthongs always start with the typewritten A, so these should be replaced by these two. Then there is no long A and no long O, both are diphthongs in RP. A, an upgliding diphthong, and O, another upgliding diphthong. And then we don't have these two standing on their own, and Last but not least, we don't have a long law back vowel of this kind. If it is long, it should be this one, as in law, but or all, as in all stop. So these are the main mistakes that we can identify as far as symbols are concerned. Let's now look at roticity and let's mark those mistakes where a post-vocalic R was used, which shouldn't be there. For example, in four, four-lettered friends, so the R must go away, whereas in dear old grandmother, this is fine. And also it's fine down here, it's a linking R in never even, but there is no linking R in wonder, but we find a linking R in where it'll all stop. So these are the R's, cases of R. Here's another one which shouldn't be there. God bless her. It's of course God bless her. So it should be a different symbol again. By the way, I forgot to mention that the short A in value should of course be the ash here. And in bloody we need the wedge instead of these strange symbols which are not part of the system. Let us now look at some consonantal errors. So let's mark them here. This basically concerns effects of voicing. So something like this here. Oops, no. Let's use this one, this color. So this is a con consonantal error change. Uh, it must be voiced, of course. Here is another voicing error, must be voiced and the opposite can be found over here. So these are my corrections. Of course, change. And here we need the voiced symbol and here the voiceless one. Okay, and finally there are some common mistakes which seem to reoccur time and again. So our students really seem to like these things. One concerns the word lettered and the other one the word many. Now lettered involves a rule which 
you might want to remember. If you have a word that ends in ERD like hammered, lettered, battered, etc., this always comes out like this, with a schwa. Well, in the word many, where we have the feeling that the short A symbol is far too high, involves this A because there's no alternative. The ash is certainly a vowel which is far too low, so the transcription is really of this kind. And you can remember that. This is a sort of rule which you should adhere to. So, I hope I found and discussed all mistakes. If not, you're invited to add a comment to this video. Well, and if you like this sort of data analysis, you can post a comment too. Thank you very much.